Before we get this video started, I just want to say that if you're a tattoo artist and you're thinking about doing a cover up on darker skin complexion, please make sure that you are 100% comfortable with your tattoo application and you have enough knowledge in cover ups. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client's flying in from New York to get a cover up done. And what he's getting done, it's a full back piece. I booked my client for four days, one day consultation, three days tattooing, just in case I need that extra day to finish it off. But with that being said, I am so excited. Let's just get this day started. Let's go! So now, a couple years later, now you want to get this covered up. Yeah. It's about that time. It's definitely that time. <laughs> Do your friends give you shit? Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't really take my shirt off often because of that, <laughs> so uh, they've barely seen it, uh -huh. um, the ones who have were like, oh, it looks good, but I feel like they're like a lion, <laughs> yeah, like in the back of their head, they're like, mm. <laughs> yeah, when I seen your email, well, because we were reading it, I don't know if you saw, I you saw it. it, yeah, I was actually watching it with my wife, uh -huh. and, I was like, oh, I th he's talking about me right now. Because <laughs> I have a back tattoo that I have one covered up. I live in New York City and in the military. It seems like he's open. Sounds like he, he's pretty much open to suggestions. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so we have this, this project going <laughs> So now we got to look for options. We got to look for options. Did you sleep yesterday? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> were you able to sleep last night? Not really. You were just thinking, huh? Like, <laughs> what is going to happen tomorrow? <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Oh, you're good right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you, you're the star. <laughs> you're supposed to be in every shot. <laughs> You're trying to get it out of the way. <laughs> oh my bad, am I on the shot? <laughs> Down the person who did this lion here uh -huh. went in a little bit uh -huh. harder on you. <laughs> Just a little bit, not too much. It the, was like Like in, inside the face. Yes, yeah. inside the face. He he tried to pack a whole bunch of detail. Mm -hmm. You don't have a lot of hair, that's good. <laughs> Where I'm from, we call them la lampiños, people who mm. don't have a lot of hair. Yeah. That's me. I don't have no hair. <laughs> Not even on my face. I didn't start getting hair until I was like 24. 24? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. You're telling me I still got hope? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, my face, I didn't have any. I was like, don't be giving me full hope. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't want to be 30 and like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> So this is what we're gonna be doing today. First day is gonna be the face of the lion here on the top. And it's a, it's a great concept, I like it, because it's gonna fit your back, and then you're getting something that you like. It's like an upgrade of what you already yeah. have. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> the stencil product that we're gonna be using is uh, Jesus Juice. I've been using it so much, and I really like the way it works. So if any of you wanna use this product, feel free to follow a higher level tattoo supply store and I'm gonna go ahead and tag them on the description and order your Jesus juice because this is, this is solid. So my goal putting on this stencil is making sure that this part of the face lands here since it's the darkest part of his back. So I gotta make sure that the contrast um, is here and my highlights are gonna be on this side, making sure that this is gonna pop on the right direction. So here we go. Perfect. The forehead, I already landed on the right spot. This is this area is gonna be my highlight area, so perfect placement already. The suspense is killing you, huh? <laughs> like, you start already, fool. Stop taking your time. <laughs> We're gonna start with the eye. There you go. How's that? <laughs> nothing. It's like it ain't nothing. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> The approach that I'm gonna be taking for this tattoo is um, starting with my um, darkest areas, then moving on to 
uh, whatever is like a medium tone and finishing off with looking at my highlights. So the key for this project is to make sure that you're always conscious about where your highlights and your contrast is. That's the only way and never lose sight of that. Does it feel exactly how you remember? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't change. It's not a, like a, a bad pain. Unless it was like on a bone or something, then it would be like, oh. Mm -hmm. For me, tattooing bones is cringy. Because once you hit that bone, it sounds like, and I'm like, oh. Uh, sounds like a bone is breaking. <laughs> I don't like that sound. I don't like that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> We went at it for longer than, than I thought. Yeah. What time is it? Like eight? Almost eight. Almost eight. It was the middle part, huh? The, the part that the you were middle like, I don't know was, if I can. Yeah, it was yeah. killer. What time did we start? We started at 10? 10? Yeah. Around 10, huh? Damn! This is, is this your longest session? I think so. You? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel you getting a huge piece. Uh, I, I'm excited. Because <laughs> like, it's, not, it's not just a huge piece. It's a good huge piece. It's, it's something I want. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. Yesterday was an extremely long day. So we got to finish the lion on the top of his back. But today is day two and we're going to complete the bottom part of his back. What I'm going to do right now um, is just start testing out where the stencil is going to look good because we have the spine here. If I was to place the face right here, the face is just going to change. It's just going to, the features are going to change. hours later <laughs> it's been a long two days and uh, I was hoping that I was gonna finish in two days but uh, there's a lot more to do and I definitely need that extra uh, day to finish this back piece I definitely forgot to record the whole day <laughs> I was hella focused all day we were just talking <laughs> chilling having fun you know and I, I forgot to record it tired Sore. Well, I mean, obviously you gave me a, a couple of uh, times to like relax, mm -hmm. got me lunch and breakfast. Hey. So I was like, I got that energy mm -hmm. to get in there, <laughs> sit here and 
watch him go to work. But yeah, like, yeah, the biggest project and the longest. And back to back. Especially so. if you're doing your back. Back, yeah, yeah. back, back, to, back to back on, on the, the back. back. Hey. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back and watching this new video. I really appreciate it. And if you're an artist, do you think this was a challenging cover up? Personally, it was definitely challenging, definitely was, uh, especially spending three days uh, tattooing the same person. It can be uncomfortable for the client. It could be uncomfortable for me as well, getting tired. My back started hurting, you know. Uh, mentally, uh, you get tired as well. Um, but uh, it makes a big difference when you're spending uh, a lot of hours and especially three days in this in this situation with a client that has such a great energy and great personality. <sighs> But it was definitely a long weekend, a long three days. It was about 25 hours of tattooing and his back hurting, my back hurting, and yeah. But if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.